There could be some good news on the economic front with the government set to announce much better than expected GDP growth numbers tomorrow. A pickup in economic activity in the past few months and reducing uncertainties has paved the way for a faster economic uh, growth rate. For the current year, I mean for the year that has just ended, that is 22-23, uh, the estimates are that it will be 7%. But there is a possibility that it could be even more. The Governor of the Reserve Bank of India himself giving the good news last week that the GDP growth estimate for financial year 2022-23 will be better than expected. The RBI had forecast a 7% growth rate against the much more guarded forecast of world bodies like IMF and the World Bank. However, a State Bank of India report released last week hiked the estimate to 7.1%. According to the report, the pickup in the economy in the fourth quarter, January to March, has been more energetic than earlier estimated. It initially appeared in the third quarter that there was a pent-up demand which was supporting economic activity. But all the economic indicators in the Q4 of last financial year, they saw that economic activity sustained momentum and in fact, all the fast move high frequency indicators, about 70 of them which we monitor in the Reserve Bank of India, almost in all of these high frequency indicators, the momentum was maintained in Q4. So therefore, I will not be surprised, we, will, we should not be surprised if the growth is slightly more than 7%. What has turned the tide for the economy from the post-COVID bloom is a clutch of factors, including a rebound in the agriculture sector, a stellar performance by services export, a pickup in capex in infrastructure, a rise in private investments particularly in the steel and cement sector, capacity utilization in manufacturing exceeding 75% and a nearly 16% growth in bank credit. There are some lingering concerns as well, which include continued geopolitical uncertainties, global inflation, which is still high in several countries, fears of contraction in world trade and a resulting dip in merchandise exports and the possible impact of El Nino on the agriculture output. Uh, while the center in fact expects that there could be some change in the absolute numbers but that will be a negligible change uh, when you look at the whole figure of the GDP percentage uh, it clearly looks uh, that the growth story of India is being uh, uh, looked into from a big angle with inflation coming down in the last few months and manufacturing and services industries uh, doing well the center is hopeful of a successful upcoming uh, story for uh, India's economic growth. Krishna Masadani for Business Today Television.